Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Talha Barkar and in this video I'll be showing you how to calculate running totals in Power Query. So uh, essentially we'll be using this syntax called list.range and to explain I'll be using these examples what this syntax exactly does. So let's see you have a range from 1 to 10. So when you use list.range it essentially prints a list out of that range. So here 6 is referring to the number so excluding six after six it will give a list down the remaining numbers of that range so essentially after six seven eight nine ten so essentially this is what it does and now if you want to define the length of how many numbers are displayed after six so let's say you just want one number after six so you just want seven to be displayed or just eight nine or ten so you can add that as well to define the length of the list that is being printed so essentially out of the range of 1 to 10 numbers after 6 and you just want two numbers so that is why only 7 and 8 are printed here over here it was not defined essentially which is why all the remaining numbers were printed so let's get down to power query so over here as well we'll have to do it in a similar manner so firstly what i'll do is i'll add an index column and I'll index, index this not from 0 but from 1. Once I've done that, what I'll do now is I'll add a custom column and let's rename this column as running totals and let's have list dot range in here and let's have my sales and let's start that at 0 and let's have the index and let's close and we should essentially have what you want to see but no it shows us an error why does this do that it tells us that we cannot convert the value 19 to type list so here 19 is value and it is not a list it has to be typecasted as a list so how do you change that so I'll show you that as well so essentially what you would want to do is you would want to come down to the original source you come back down to the previous step the first step essentially which is the source and then you just type the name of the column in this case it is column 1 itself and once you press enter this gets converted to a list so you come back to the previous step and you enter the name of the column and that entire column gets converted to a list from values so we'll be doing that same thing here so you just double click on this and we'll be we'll have the formula already here so now if you have a look over here before i type in so this is the name that we have for the column so before running totals it was named as added index hashtag added index so that is what we'll be typing in here let's just copy that so i'm going to copy this right from the hashtag till the double inverted comma and we're pasting that in here like we did in the previous uh, table in the other query we had source and then our column so over here we have the name of the column the previous step before it was the running totals column and sales so now will be referred to as the list and not the running totals column and when i press ok you'll essentially see that this column which is sales and the values in here have been converted to a list so we no more see that error so over here if you have a look you just see the numbers down here at the bottom corner now we do not want this to say list we want the running totals usually obviously so what i'm going to do is let's put this down to the second line okay so we want to add our list dot sum and we would like to close this bracket as well and you just press enter okay make sure it's spelled correctly just give me a second okay i think this is going to work yes perfect so now we have the running totals over here so you see 19 plus 83 102 
83 plus 73 175 and so on so this is essentially how you calculate running totals in power query we used the syntax called list.range this is something new that i learned and i thought i should create a video on this so that i brush up my learnings as well and i can share my learnings with others outside as well so thank you for watching the entire video stay tuned for more content on microsoft power bi excel tableau and powerpoint thank you